The Bronx Revival Center's mission has always been to engage community in the revitalization first of the river and the revitalization of our community. For all intent and purpose, we're an alternative art space that exhibits emerging and mid-career artists who also interact with and educate our youth to help them develop their talents, to stay in the community and give back, and to be a part of the continued growth of our borough. I think Brock is bringing something to an area that really needs you know, more exposure to art and to music and to creative outlets in general. My favorite thing about Brock is probably the artwork and how creative the challenges are. You have to persevere to finish the challenges and just the fun of doing it. The Bronx River Art Center used professional artists with master's degree in the arts. Artists are changing their mindset and they really do want to work in communities that need support and are developing. In a school, a lot of times music and art are the first two things to go. You need that outlet to express yourself in, in whichever way you feel comfortable. And that's what I think Brack provides. All I have to say, it's really great and it is a it. It gives the kids exposure to different artists, ideas, ways of making art that they don't get in school and become inspired by that. Brock has more than one program depending on what the child likes. And a lot of these kids, they like drawing, but the thing is that they don't really know about design, concept art, or storyboarding. We could teach them that. And working with kids, the imagination is like, wow, they have imaginations. So I learned to be a kid again. We place an equal amount of emphasis on our exhibitions program for emerging and mid-career artists artists and we see that as an important aspect for the youth to engage with professional artists in the exhibitions process. Many artists have come through our exhibitions program and have gone on to um, successful careers in the arts. I had been making nautically inspired work basically coming out of Hurricane Sandy. I live in a neighborhood that was really heavily impacted, and my work is about phenomenal experiences. If you go to a gallery, say down in Chelsea, and you look at artwork, well, that's all really beautiful, but it doesn't have any interaction with the community. And this is what I like about this place, is that I've met all these young kids, I had a workshop with them, and you really get to interact with other people, you know? So it's a whole new experience. I really like the color, because like, when you see colors, it makes you change your emotions. For example, he used blue, and so then that makes you calm down. That is where I think it's really important because then the kids get to see art, they get to see other ways of expressing oneself, they get to learn some history. They really begin to understand uh, the process of communication through art and what they can say through art um, about their environment, about their community, and how they can help make change. We have something that looks like a tree, is made of trees because it's on plywood, and is surrounded by real trees, but it is not a tree. She inspires me to be an artist in a way of using things that you don't see as art, but making them others see in art. That's why she inspires me. Kids don't realize, and a lot of people don't realize, there is nature in the urban environment, and this is the educational aspect of it. I came to this later in life. I wish I'd started it sooner. I just, you know, love making films and the whole process of it. And today, it's much easier for anyone to do it. In the boroughs and uh, different neighborhoods, there's a lot of interesting things happen if you just notice it. We also feel it's important that we take our young students out of the borough and into the greater New York metropolitan area, which is still the art capital of the world so that the students really get a much broader idea of what art is. It's not just what they see in the Bronx, but a world of art in our wonderful city. Every kid has great potential, no matter what their background. All you have to do is make it available. There's so many different ways to use their creative talents, and that's one of the things that we're focusing on. We ended up designing a park bench for the Bronx River Greenway. We had them present their design to the Bronx River Alliance's Greenway team to be considered as a design that could go into production and be used. From our central location in the heart of the Bronx, we reach out throughout the whole borough to do all kinds of art activities, performances, public art, virtual public art that people using smartphones and iPads can see pieces virtually on their phone. And we do it near public spaces like near bus stops and train stations where there's a lot of pedestrian traffic where people who are not 
used to seeing this kind of thing in their community. Even the way we've painted our building with huge super graphics, that's a public artwork in and of itself. We have always and will continue to provide space opportunities for artists to work. In 1987, a few Bronx people self-incorporated the Bronx River Art Center. It's been going on ever since then. They developed studios, education classrooms, they developed a gallery on the ground floor storefront. Over about 10 years, they just kept filling the whole building with art activity. 15 years later, we're in process of restoring the building, with which we do become owners of the building as well. It's important to know that 15 years ago, she came to this job here when the city was considering tearing down the building. Well, a building like this is incredibly important, but more important is the programming that's going to happen in it. Everyone, as far as the eye can see, will be able to tell what it is, or they will ask themselves, what is that beautiful, gorgeous white building with this stark green lettering? Let's go in and see what's there. I think it's going to be a fantastic place. I can't wait to come back here when they cut the ribbon. It's been the event of my life to work on the Bronx River Art Center and help make it a wonderful art space and environmental studies place for all the people of this community. But I'm proud to report that we passed a budget that includes a historic commitment to bringing arts education to underserved neighborhoods throughout the city. Having children explore their talents, uh, having the Bronx realize that while we are building, while we are getting better economic development and reducing crime, that we still have to continue to promote the arts. I look forward to not only groundbreaking this city, but to have a wonderful facility here. I look forward to continue to invest in the arts. God bless Gail. Thank you. God bless you all. And God bless the Bronx. Once that building is restored, it'll be there for community, for artists, for the world to see that this sort of thing can happen and be, can be a part of the revitalization of the Bronx. Bronx River Art Center let me be as creative as I want to be. At Brock, we let you tell your story. I love coming to the Bronx River Art Center. At Brock, we let you be you. We encourage you to come down and see Brock for yourself. The Bronx really needs to keep the talent that it develops. It's a beautiful borough, 